Hi everyone, welcome to my Wax Wednesday. This is where I tell you what I melted or burned in our house the past week and my thoughts on the scents that I burned or melted. As you can see, I have three candles here. This large jar candle was from um, Walmart. It's the Better Homes and Gardens. It's the limited edition summer 2012 old, old fashioned lemonade. And this was a yummy candle. It smelled so good. It had that lemony smell and it was just absolutely wonderful. But what happened was, as it got towards the end, the wick fell over to the side and I couldn't, it's too far down in there for me to reach and I couldn't get it. And so it just um, extinguished itself. And there's some up here at the front. And I tried to work at it and I sloshed some around up here at the top. But um, for the most part, okay. You know, you can't beat it for, you know, a $5 candle. And this one was a Simply Home Yankee Candle Caribbean Kiss. This one I do believe I got at. I either got this at Kohl's or probably Kohl's, I think is where I got it. And it, it burned all the way to the end. Nice job. And it smelled good. It's that, um, you know, that tropical scent in um, the scent. And it was, it was a really nice candle, too. Um, I had it in the bathroom, and it did very well in there. Oh, this one was in our um, family room. I had this one in the family room. And this one is just about out here. It probably will finish up tonight. But this is a colonial candle, and I bought this back in January. The scent is Sparkle, and um, every month, Colonial Candle has a candle of the month, and I picked this one up. Um, I liked what the scent description on the website had, and it has a real pretty blinged out picture there that I like. So I picked it up. It's a very... Um, warm cozy type scent like velvety and everything um i had melted it back in the winter and i wanted to finish it up so i would have room in my candle cabinet to um add some new fall stuff coming up so i'm um, trying to finish it up here this evening then in my melters i have three um, tart melters in our house. I've got one in my bedroom. I've got one in my son's room and then I have one in our den and um, I'm slowly adding them to each room in our house. So eventually my whole house will be Supplied with a tart warmer. Yay! <laughs> um, these three scents here that I melted um, They I pulled these out of the round robin box at tempting treat one did and um, I pulled these out and these are from Gracie Joe's I never have tried Gracie Joe's candles these were um, they were little tart warmers there were four little cubes in each bag of the different scents so I pulled these out to try this one was April Fresh Downy and this was a nice clean scent now there are only four little cubes and I melted this in my den and if I had a little bit more it probably would have been stronger but um, it was a nice nice scent very clean that April downy fresh scent that you know in your um, laundry fabric softener this one was granny zucchini bread and um, this one I melted in the den and it had that nice zucchini bread scent um, that, you know, um, just, you know, nothing special added to it, just that zucchini bread, like a loaf was baking in the oven. And like I said, there were only four little cubes in there that, um, was all that I melted. And this one was, um, also from Gracie Joe's Candles, and this is Monkey Farts. And this was in my son's room. It was a fun banana scent. I had never tried any Monkey Farts before, and, um... He liked it and it, you know it's just a fun banana fruity scent so we enjoyed that then all my other melts that I did for the rest of the week are from Krabby Candle Company and I know that Dutch Candle has taken them over and I do believe he is open for business so you can find these scents on the website let's see 
this here these are the ones that I melted in our den this is butterfly garden and this is very floral so if you are not a floral lover you will not like a butterfly garden it was you know it wasn't a very overpowering floral scent but it was a nice floral scent in my den area this one was raspberry truffle and there was something different in here that I don't know if it was it wasn't a raspberry scent that I got so it must be like whatever they put in for the truffle scent but it was it was something different I, I didn't really care for it and I mean it had a good throw in my den area but it just wasn't a scent that I enjoyed you know and there are some scents out there that you may or may not like which is fine and everybody's nose is different so if you try this you may really love it you know it just depends on your sniffer and this one was plumeria and this one was a nice floral it was very good at just the right amount of throw it wasn't overpowering in my little house here so it was very good and these these come in cubes you know let me see if I can I don't have one here that I haven't used but they come in cubes are about I don't know if you can be able to see it's about that size a cube if you can even see that with the clear bag but they're not very big kind of like a ice cube I guess so it was you know it's perfect for a small room if you have a larger live in a, uh, a newer home with larger rooms then you might need two possibly to get a good scent throw in your house with these but um, I had received all these crabby candles when I was in the um, tart of the month club that they did and um, the person for Dutch candles said that he would be doing that so if you're interested be sure and check out the Facebook page or the website to see if um, when that's going to be starting these here were melted in my son's room this one was a red hot cinnamon and this was like those candies those red hot cinnamon candies it smelled like you stuck your nose in a bag or a box of those candies and that's what you were smelling it was a good throw in his room it scented up his whole room it wasn't an overpowering cinnamon it was more of the sweet candy scent this one was candy apple and this one it had that apple scent but then it had some sweetness to it to give it that candy apple it was okay it wasn't a favorite and it had a nice throw in his bedroom and this one was country bake shop and this one was yummy it had a very good throw it smelled like you were in a country store where they were baking pies and pastries it was really delicious smelling so this one I would repurchase again because it especially for the fall because it had that you know that ooey gooey sweet bakery scent that you you know you love and then the last ones were melted in my bedroom this one is Bailey's in bed now I'm not an alcohol drinker so I don't know what Bailey's I don't know if it's something you anyway I don't know but this one had a weird weird to me smell because I wasn't sure what Bailey's was but it had some vanilla tones to it as well so it wasn't it wasn't bad it was just a little different and it had a nice throw in our bedroom and my last two were pink sugar and blue sugar I melted these in my bedroom both of these they smelt so good cold throw I was so excited because these were my first sugars to melt and I was just super excited so I did pink no I did blue sugar first I did blue sugar and um, it was just a very light throw it, it, it so light that after a few minutes you you didn't even notice it anymore it was very light so I was a little disappointed in that because everyone raves about the sugar the pink sugars and the blue sugars and sugar this and sugar that so I was really excited but this one was so light for me and it was in my little bitty bedroom 
sorry about that, my camera shut off. But same with this one, pink sugar, same thing. It was a very light throw. You hardly noticed it after a little while. I just wish that it was stronger. Um, you know, I've said before, I live in an older house. My rooms are small, my ceilings are low, and it just did not have that wow throw that I was looking for, that everyone comments how wonderful pink sugar is. So, um, I don't know, maybe it's just what I got. If you've tried Krabby Candle um, before and have tried their pink sugar or blue sugar and you were just like head over heels with it, let me know because maybe it's just mine and I need to repurchase and try it again. Also, if you know another vendor that has an outstanding pink sugar or blue sugar, let me know because I'm really interested because, like I said, I really loved the cold throw on these. They were just fabulous perfect for my bedroom and so I was a little disappointed when I melted it and it wasn't what I got if that makes sense so anyway that is everything that was melted and burned in our house it's gonna be um, slim pickings next week and it probably might be a little late and maybe on Thursday because we are heading down to the coast so I will not have all of my things with me. I kind of packed up a little box to take a warmer with me. So I'll see how that goes. And